Hi everyone, welcome in this third episode of Mincast, my new podcast created here on YouTube. It's all free, so if you haven't watched it, the first two episodes, I really suggest you to listen it. And so now for the episode three, I have a very, very special guest that is my brother that will talk about him right now. Hi, hi, Minkus brother. I'm 11 years old and I'm really happy to do this podcast with my brother. Okay, so now we will answer, we will just do some question and answer of uh, the post that I've shared on YouTube. So you've asked some question for me and my brother. So we will uh, answer them now. So the first question will be this. How is Minge around the house? Uh, so Matteo, you have you have to answer to this because I don't know. So uh, my brother, for me, uh, is working a lot to this channel, and uh, he is uh, uh, he's uh, much time on computer on monitor and. Uh, and that's it and that's it okay that's good that's good so yeah what what i do around the house i just work on youtube do homeworks obviously sometimes uh and then um, nothing really special you know beautiful love your content thank you so much bro so the second question is thoughts on mclaren being the first to bring out their livery with no announcement date at all i've done uh, i've done a short about that uh so but we will discuss it now so matteo what do you think about this mclaren li- livery with no announcement date at all as he said so uh for me the library uh the mclaren library is very beautiful but for me uh is wrong no to no no announce uh, the new library but for me uh, this library is very beautiful and uh, but uh, is uh, wrong no announce yeah okay so it's really strange to no announce the car uh, the car livery, mm, you know, is very, very strange. And it might be fast, the McLaren next year. So, but we don't really know. Uh, I just love the livery, but it's really similar to the previous year. So my rate out of 10 is like a 7.5. What's your rate out of 10, Matteo? 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Really good. So next question is, what do you think about stake F1 team? So we've, I've discussed it in my, in the previous uh, episode of the, on, oh, oh my God, I can't speak of this podcast. And but that was my opinion, but not my brother's opinion, brother's opinion. So Matteo, what do you think about the stake F1 team? This is also the, the name or what they can do in 2024? Also for me, uh, Stake F1 is a very ugly name, and uh, uh, but uh, for me uh, is a better Saber F1 or Alfa Romeo. Yeah, that's that's the same that uh, I think and that you think, guys. I've done a pool about that, as I said in the previous episode. Uh, mostly of you have voted to just Alfa Romeo or, or just Sauber, so not stake F1 team. So next question, maybe you want you want to read them, that Matteo. Who is the most underrated and the most overrated drivers in 2023? So what do you think about, about this, Matteo? Uh, for me, uh, the overrated drivers is Checo Perez, because uh, for me, in Red Bull, in very important team, uh, is not it is not 
uh, right seat for him. Yeah, okay. Uh, the most overrated driver for me, yeah, it's maybe Paris as well, but it's not maybe overrated. Uh, but the most overrated, so maybe also, I don't really know, maybe Norris, because, yeah, it's fast, but he couldn't bring uh, too much uh, at all. We've discussed it as well in, in the previous episode, but what about the most underrated driver? For me, at the start of the season, most underrated Driver is um, Oscar Piastri. Okay, and why Oscar Piastri? Why? Because on the finish of the season, he um, he do uh, just better than the start of the season, and uh, he is very fast. Yeah, okay, that's a good opinion. So, you were talking... You were talking, sorry, about the start of the season that was underrated. But I think with at in the all 2023, my opinion is Yuki Tsunoda. You know, uh, it it brings a lot of points at home. Damn, just a lot of good races this year. I think he deserved uh, the place, the seat in Alpha Tauri for next year. So that will not be Alpha Tauri anymore. Will be like racing bulls and some sponsor like Visa, if I can remember good. I've seen the post uh, on Instagram. And so, yeah, the next question. You are from Genoa. So, Genoa or Sampdoria? Uh, Genoa for me, just just because just because the name, you know, Genoa is more of Genoa, in my opinion. So, what's your opinion, Matteo? I'm not football fans, but for me, Genoa is better than Sampdoria. Yeah, okay, same. I'm not a really f- uh, football fan. I'm not really into football. So, next question. You want to read it? Uh, who is the top five World Cup? Yeah, World Driver Championship uh, prediction. What's your top five driver championship for the 2024 season? Matteo, what's your opinion? For me, um, Mark Verstappen. He dominated also next year, uh, so I put he first. Second, I I put Charles Clark. Oh, very very optimistic about Ferrari next year. Yes, but and for me the surprise, Oscar Piastri on third. Uh, the first, the first, for me, is uh, George Russell, and last of this list, for me, is Carlos Sainz. Oh, so a very fast uh, Ferrari, in your opinion. So not a really good Perez with that car. So my opinion, first Verstappen, as you said. Second place, I think, will be. Uh, I think could could be Charles Leclerc. Maybe it's it's good opinion. I think it could be because if demonstrates at all uh, a good mo a good season this year. Uh, so P two for Leclerc. That's but with a lot of points of gap on on Verstappen will will not fight for the championship. I think. Uh, so P three. I'll put Lewis Hamilton maybe have done a great season or, or maybe no, uh, I I have to change it. P2 Hamilton, P3 uh, Leclerc because this this season Hamilton done an uh, impressive job, I think. Really impressive. P3 for Leclerc, P4 Alonso, P5 Carlos. So a strong Ferrari, I think, uh, next year. Uh, but maybe, no, maybe P5 Norris. No, sorry. <laughs> P4 Norris, P5 uh, Carlos Sainz, I think uh, Aston Martin will not be really fast. So next question, seeing, seeing as Gunther Steiner left us shortly after he made this post, maybe have him leaving us as one of the topics. Yeah, 
Well, we want to discuss about it. So, Matteo, what do you think about uh, that Gunther Steiner uh, left the house? For me, Gunther Steiner is very good team principal. For me, it's the good of team principal. And I love it. Uh, I'm uh, really uh, sad for this... Uh, for this, this decision, and uh, I think us will be uh, okay. So not not fast enough, yeah. not fast. okay. So not not fast as before, as you said. Correct. Yes, for me, uh, will be uh, without good stainer. Us uh, will be not fast. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good appearing. Yeah, I'm really sad. Really sad about Gunther was really funny about also Drive to Survive was really funny I think is a loss for Drive to Survive <laughs> they they will lost a lot <laughs> but Gunther Stein leave uh, and then yeah I think uh, as they said Das was not performing in this eight years you know uh, and they want to just try to change and try to find a better team principle We'll see, we'll see in 2024, guys. We'll see in 2024. And we will maybe react to this podcast. Why Why not? That's a pretty good challenge that we can do next year, I hope. So next question. F1 2026 grid. So the lineup, uh, the driver's lineup, I think you're meaning. Uh, so maybe we'll we'll just say, say some names that uh, will not be in 2026. And maybe some names, some drivers that will be in 2026. So, Matteo, you want to start? So, for me, Lawson in 2026 will be in a faster team than of Tauri. And uh, for me, in 2026, make Schumacher will return in F1. Okay, so good opinion. So, I think in 2026, not 2024. Uh, as you said, maybe, I don't remember, no, maybe 2026, okay. So in 2026, Grid uh, will be, I think, will be Fettel. That's that's a good night, That that's a good night, that's a big night. Uh, so I think Fettel will return to F1 in 2026 for maybe one or two years. Alonso will be in Formula 1 at the age of like 44, 45, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think Alonso will will be in Formula One. Hamilton will retire after twenty twenty four, I think, or maybe after twenty twenty no, after twenty twenty five. Sorry, that his contract will expire. Uh, and so also, I think Lawson will will retire. Maybe Tsunoda in Red Bull. Tsunoda in Red Bull maybe if will will do a good season. Perez not in Formula One anymore, I think. So that's our prediction. So next question, who do you think will come out on top in 2024? So we've just done our prediction of 2024 uh, championship, driver championship, and also constructor championship, but we can discuss a bit. So Verstappen, in my opinion, uh, will be the fastest guy, uh, guy or driver. Uh, obviously in 2024 we've discussed it and so also the team's prediction I think Red Bull then I think Ferrari can do a good season so Ferrari second third McLaren fourth Mercedes fifth Aston Martin and that's our my uh, top five word uh, constructor prediction for 2024 also for me uh, Verstappen will dominate it also next season and uh, for me Ferrari can be fast can will be faster than this this season but uh, also this Red Bull uh, will be faster than that Ferrari yeah the Ferrari and then the other teams as well so Next question, we've almost finished. Uh, so, 
how do you do you and Ming get along? Do you guys argue a lot or you don't argue a lot? That's a question for you. Uh, so yeah, just just uh, answer to it. Yes. Uh, so uh, me and my brother arguing a lot, uh, but but uh... but in this period. Maybe we don't argue a lot. That's yeah. what we once said. Okay. Yeah, so in in the past we argued a lot. I don't I don't know if if this if I if I'm pronounced pronouncing it good, but I'll say argue. Uh so we we're not argue a lot right now, but in the past we have argued a lot. Um uh, but now we ju- we are just collaborating maybe with some episodes <laughs> and this channel as well uh maybe he'll, he helps me with some lives maybe uh behind the scenes maybe sometimes say hello in live and <laughs> yes yeah, it's, it's really funny uh so i think will be this the penultimate question so do you think ferrari can win the world uh, championship with leclerc and, uh, and is Aston Martin going to be like in 2023? So about Ferrari, we've already discussed it, but about Aston Martin will be the same in 2023. So really fast, maybe in the first part of the season, maybe some podiums, or you think will be slower or faster? For me, uh, Aston Martin uh, will be slower than the season and Ferrari with Leclerc can't can't win the the world championship. Yeah, that's that's what I think as well. Uh, Aston Martin, yeah, will maybe we'll, they will score some podium sometimes, but I think we'll be slower than than the other season. Just the last question. The last question: Do you think Sergio Perez will be enough good, uh, good enough in twenty twenty four to keep his seat at Red Bull? For me. Uh, Sergi Checo Perez uh, is not uh, much faster fast, uh, for for Red Bull for this team because Red Bull is uh, one of the best uh, or the best team in F1 and Checo Perez is not uh, one of the best Drivers. Yeah, I think Perez is struggling a lot in this Red Bull. I think if we'll change team, I think we'll be fast, but in Red Bull is not fast anymore. So I really hope for him to change team. So I think in 2025 we'll be not at a Red Bull anymore. So yeah, I think we just finished all the questions, guys. So Matteo, first that we'll leave. What's your opinion about this post? Did did you like it? Did you want to return to the podcast with me? Maybe another day. Uh, so yeah, what's your opinion? If you liked it, if you don't like it? Yes, for me, uh, this podcast is very very beautiful uh, to do with my brother, and uh, I'm very happy after this podcast we, uh, because I learned the English more than before. Yeah, more than at school, I think. More than at school. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for listening it. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you aren't, uh, and also check my merchandising, my store, mingef1.shop, just releases released this new uh, shop uh, much cheaper but really really good uh, products so we'll see you next video next podcast it's been a pleasure cheers